check the search volume history of an Amazon keyword. Let's backtrack here. First of all, what the heck is search volume? It's a metric that is frequently used inside of Helium 10, and it's basically the velocity of how many searches the product or keyword you're looking at has had in about 30 days time or the last month. AKA, how many times did people type that search term into the search bar and hit enter? It's an estimate based on Amazon data and it's highly, highly accurate. Now, what if you wanted to check the history of a search volume? Well, again, as we do with all these strategies, why is this valuable? Well, you could have two completely relevant keywords to your product, right? And then they describe your product perfectly. But if one keyword has only 50 searches, but the other has 500 searches a month, then which one do you think is a more valuable keyword? Well, I think we know the answer to that. Maybe you only have enough room to put one of them in, or maybe you want to make sure that you put the most important keyword in your title. How would you really know which one to put in at all times if the relevancy is the same? You have to rely on a different metric. And if this is a very important keyword, the way that you can prioritize your keywords is by search volume. So higher search volume, more traffic, more eyeballs for your relevant search terms, and hopefully that leads to greater conversions for you in theory. And here's where you can find it inside of Cerebro. We have a search volume column, the graph icon being equally valuable because this metric is something that will fluctuate frequently going up and then down throughout the year. And there are newer words that start to gain popularity sometimes. So clicking the graph icon will help you understand seasonality. Maybe there are peaks and valleys for a given holiday like Christmas or summer or winter. So it's really important that you click into this graph to check out the search volume history of the products you're looking at on Amazon. As you can see right now, it's got 154 for search volume. That means, you know, about 30 days, almost 2000 people have searched for it. But then you can kind of see last year around December, that number spikes all the way up to 6,000. I can actually go back all time and however far back that Helium 10 has that data, I'll be able to see. I can see that there are similar spikes every year coming up during Christmas time. This is showing me Amazon search volume history, but if I hit the drop down menu in this box, I can actually see the Google search volume history and the walmart.com search volume history for any of these keywords as well. Now, a question that I get a lot, I know the other evangelists get it a lot as well, is what is the magic number for search volume? What should I be looking for? And there's no magic number. It's just different by marketplace as well as by niche. You know, if you want a keyword that's probably going to get you some sales, maybe it's a minimum of 500 searches or sometimes just 100 searches a month and it'll get you a sale here or there. But if you're in the UK marketplace or Japan where you have these smaller marketplaces, the minimum of 100 search volume might not be so bad. So there's really just no telling and it's just best practice to experiment a bit. Another thing to look at is the search volume trend. That means that is this keyword growing in popularity from last month or is it going down? And we also have that right here in Cerebro. There's a column that says search volume trend. You can see that this is one keyword, paint coffin shelf, and it's gone down 31% from last month. So maybe I see I've got 2000 keywords here. Maybe I want to know what are all the keywords that are increasing in search volume trend? Like there are new hot keywords I need to keep an eye on, then this is a great filter to use. I can use the filters at the top of Cerebro. I can put in a minimum, maximum for search volume trend and discover all those hot new keywords in that given niche. I had mentioned uh, search volume kind of correlating with keyword sales, but it's not a one-to-one -one basis, okay? So that is why we have this column here, keyword sales. These are going to be your estimates of approximately how many sales the searches for keywords are generating. This is an estimate again based on Amazon data, and you'll notice that it's not always consistent. For instance, here's a keyword that has 200 searches and it has an estimated eight sales. Here's another keyword that has 200 searches, but has an estimated 16 sales. 
You see, this is another cool metric to look at in order to kind of estimate, all right, how powerful is this keyword? How many sales is it generating? So again, guys, search volume, super, super important metric in Helium 10 inside of Cerebro and very valuable to you because it's one of those important ways that you can kind of prioritize which are your most important keywords and which are the keywords that could potentially bring you the most sales.